Okay, guys, we're looking at what is probably a downy woodpecker. It's gonna be tough to tell. It, it looks like the size of a downy, because there's the downy woodpecker and then there's the hairy woodpecker. And I'm looking, this is a yard that got the wildlife habitat sign in it. And what we're looking at is suet. And I never, I think it's suet. I've never seen suet be put out in the summertime. I think because you have to be careful. Oh, there's a uh, Carolina chickadee. The suet, you want to be careful because it's got the oils that will melt in the summer. It's 108 degrees today. Oh my goodness. But I also saw birds taking a bath over here. Isn't that fun? So you got your crepe myrtles. I don't know if we can get lucky enough to get a, a bird in the middle of bathing. I just saw, I had a squirrel right by me. I didn't even see him. And then, isn't this a pretty tree? I don't know what type of evergreen it is. Okay, so now we're coming up. We're back on the Cypress Wetlands path. Woo! Thank God I came over here today because we're, you know, we're at the end of the season. I mean, the birds are going to keep raising their babies or their juveniles at this point. You know, we'll say for the next two weeks leading into the end of August. But the birds are all going to disperse. And, oh, and one interesting thing. Wow, look at this. Down here, folks. We've got common warhen, white ibis, and tricolor heron all hanging out together. And then you've got your common moorhens floating. Oh, oh, look at this. This is a big deal. This is like number six of a black crown night heron juvenile. Wow. Probably the closest I've ever been to one. Black crowned night heron juvenile. They look very similar to the yellow crown night heron, but the yellow crowns have a longer beak. Wow, this is amazing. Have a great day.